name is Georgina Sun, and I'm a survivor of the Canadian justice system, as well as a survivor of the child welfare system. Both my parents were survivors of the residential school and as a result of their experience there, how it impacted their lives, so it impacted myself and, and my brothers and my sisters. We traveled into, uh, you know, various foster homes uh, and in those foster homes endured through all kinds of different abuses, sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, so I was deprived of love and nurturing and safety. And because I was deprived of those things, uh, how it manifested into a lack of self-worth, no identity whatsoever, and ultimately being completely fearful all the time of the adults in my life. So I found myself uh, wrapped and caught in a crack cocaine addiction, alcoholism. I found myself, you know, in and out of abusive relationships and ultimately um, serving various bits of time and then ultimately uh, finding myself in a federal penitentiary for uh, the trafficking of cocaine. The solution is is to just lock up Aboriginal people. This is the solution for people who are broken today, is to put them, to put them in prison. Being Aboriginal means you're a lesser person. And so in those institutions, you're treated as a lesser person. Even if what I'm doing is wrong, ultimately there's a reason why I'm doing these things. And so in those places, you know, there was never the, the space or the opportunity or the safety to find out why. The correctional guards, the police, the arresting officers, the judges, the lawyers who weren't willing to try to understand why I was doing the things that I was doing. Uh, the hatred and resentment that I carried for many years towards all the systems that failed me since I was... <sighs> Punishing isn't working. We need more places of healing. We need better understanding of, of what trauma and dysfunction looks like. Every jail should be turned into a rehabilitation center. And if the guys don't want to take advantage of that, then that's their choice. But a lot of guys would. People are having conversations finally that there is this over-representation of Aboriginal people in the justice system. So what are we going to do to change it? What are you going to do for all the people that have experienced the things that I've experienced, not by choice as a young person, how do we stop those cycles? Prison is not the answer.